Well, I never really had a hometown in my life. Of course, there was a place where I was born, but I never stayed in a place long enough for me to think of it as a hometown. I moved around more than five times only in South Korea. Of course, leaving a place full of memories and full of friends was always a thing that was, uh, that was very hard for me, and it's a thing that I will never get used to. However, moving to new places filled me with anticipation that covered up the depression of leaving one. I was always excited to meet new friends and walk around the new roads, try new fields, try new foods, etc. Basically, I always liked the newness of everything. It was the same for my interests too. I tried 3D modeling alone when I first found out that there were 3D printers in our school. Also, I got into a school club that introduced this system school to foreigners because I thought it was a unique experience that was only possible in our school. Taking astronomical pictures. I tried this because, well, when would you have a chance to use all those telescopes and CCDs in the, tel in the astronomical place for your okay, personal experiences? So I decided to try that too. Well, why did I try all these things? It was because, well, I thought that the most important thing in our life is to experience and challenge things. And I am here to talk, tell you why it is the why it is most experience to challenge things. First of all, you never know what will happen in the future. You never know how those experiences might come in handy. No experiences are useless. When I, uh, this was when I participated in the Soul Forum this year. I participated in Soul Forum just out of interest, but surprisingly, they gave out AirPod 2s as a souvenir. So I got a prize for challenging and experiencing. Well, I was just kidding about this thing, but naturally, most experiences can come out real handy in most of the cases. For example, 3D printing and 3D modeling. When I first tried 3D modeling, it was just out of interest and was kept as a hobby. However, it came out in handy in a bunch of projects and research or competitions. The picture in the middle is a computer science project I've done when I was a freshman in this school. And it is supposed to be a star pointer that points to a position of a star in a certain time and location. Also, I used 3D modeling in my research and in a competition, the right picture is the 3D modeling I've done in the competition. So, some experiences might not seem very useful at the time, but because you never know what might happen in the future, it, might, it will come in handy in the future. So, you better try it. Second, experiencing more gives you more chances of failure. Let's say you fail miserably to manage time for all these projects and, and challenges and schoolwork. So you got miserable results for your schoolwork and both the challenges. Some might say that you have failed, but I am not saying that way because you have learned the way to manage time. That is not a miserable fail, but it is a huge success. Basically, I think that most of you have already heard about how important failure is to success. So I wouldn't talk about it more, but I want you to know that the more you experience, or the more you have the ch chance to fail or learn from the failure and success. Finally, you should do what you really want to do. When I talk to most of my friends, they want to do those experiences. They want to try 3D modeling. They want to participate in all the student exchange programs in which I did too. But they want to do those experiences. But they are worried that they wouldn't have enough time for those challenges and both the school work. And even if they do participate in those experiences, they are worried about all the school works that they couldn't, they couldn't have, have fun in those experience, experiences. Well, I have a solution for those cases. Don't think about whether it is useful or not while or thinking about when if you're going to participate in the challenge or why if you're going to challenge in the, uh, participate in the challenges. Just do what you want to do. Life isn't only about efficiency, and you never know how these experiences might come in handy. 24 hours a day is long enough for all of you. All of you inside this room is capable to finish all these challenges and school work within the long hour. So I want to tell you that you better experience and challenge all the things because, well, basically, it's fun to do so. Thank you.